your world in 90 seconds. I lived right there, upstairs, and there's no upstairs no more. Thought we were safe. Uh, really don't know right now. Fire crews battle to save California homes. Five destroyed, a dozen other structures damaged. Is that your car, sir? <laughs> Authorities have arrested three men for allegedly starting this fire. They were tossing papers into the campfire. Reportedly, a breeze had kicked up and set this fire. Today, President Obama is expected to announce changes to the way the NSA gathers information. Meantime, a report in The Guardian says the NSA has been collecting 200 million text messages every day. New Jersey lawmakers issued 20 new subpoenas in the bridge scandal. Governor Christie vowed not to get distracted. Whatever tests they put in front of me, I will meet those tests because I'm doing it on your behalf. Yeah, we let paramedics at the gate, sir. A United Airlines flight was forced to return to Newark Airport after hitting severe turbulence. Some crew members sustained minor injuries. The plane was started to shake. I mean, it really came out of nowhere. Homeland Security is warning retailers it's identified malware after a breach at Target compromised 110 million customers. Prince Harry will be leaving his role as a helicopter pilot. He's going to be taking up a new job with the Army. All that? Not easy doing what we do, people. I would like to... Movie awards. And all that matters. You think there's room for another Bush in the White House? Kennedys, Clintons, Bushes. They're just more families than that. I would hope that someone else would run. On CBS This Morning. Today, a special milestone will be celebrated at the White House. The First Lady is turning 50. Michelle Obama said that she's not ruling out plastic surgery or Botox in the future. When asked to comment, Barack was like, nope. <laughs> this morning's eye-opener is presented by Toyota. Let's go places.